Hi, I'm Graham Steele, CEO and founder of CryptoSense, and today I'm going to talk about fully homomorphic encryption. So what is it? Well, it's an encryption method, and uh, when an encryption method is homomorphic for a certain operation, what that means is if I do that operation on the ciphertext, on the bits of data that went, once they've been encrypted, and then I decrypt the result of that operation, what I'll get is the result of doing that same operation on the plain text. So let's say I had an encryption method which was um, homomorphic for doubling. So if I just take the, the ciphertext, just the number that's represented by the ciphertext, and I double it, and then that gives me a new ciphertext, and then I decrypt that, what I get would be the original plain text, so the original value that I encrypted, uh, but doubled as well. Uh, and so this is actually a really, really useful thing. It sounds a little bit uh, bizarre, and in fact, quite a lot of encryption schemes already have a little bit of homomorphism. But supposing I could do this not just for doubling, but for any computation. So supposing I had a scheme where I could take the, a, a ciphertext, do whatever I wanted on the ciphertext, decrypt the result, and get the result of doing that whatever I wanted on the plain text. So that is a fully homomorphic uh, encryption scheme. And if we had one of these that was super efficient and super easy to use, we'd already be using it for things like cloud computing. So one of the things that hold backs, holds back adoption of cloud is that we're worried about putting sensitive data into a computer that belongs to somebody else. But suppose I could put it in there encrypted and do whatever computation it was that I wanted to do on that encrypted data and then just get back the result through the decryption. Well, then I would have no problem because my cloud provider would have no chance of getting any useful value out of that uh, data. So fully homomorphic encryption is one of these things that is sort of seems like a dream, a really sort of magic thing to have. And until 2009, there were plenty of people who didn't believe that it really existed. Uh, but in 2009, a guy called Craig Gentry published a paper showing a, the first uh, fully homomorphic encryption scheme. At the time, it was super impractical, but since then, tons of people worked really hard to come up with new methods to make it more practical. Uh, and it's got to the stage now where if you have a PhD in fully homomorphic encryption, you can use it to do um, some interesting things. Uh, we're not yet at the stage where there are easy to use libraries that you can use to get any computation you want done in an efficient uh, way with not too much space and not too much uh, time being used up. Um, but clearly we are going to get there and there's a whole bunch of people working in this space for particular uh, problems using FAT to do particular things like machine learning and so on. So uh, fully homomorphic encryption, it's, it's nearly ready to use. It's going to go into standardization in a few years time. This will be uh, something that we'll, we'll all be uh, talking about as much more widely deployed. To find out more about it, we've got an excellent little article on our blog uh, written by Jared McGuinness that you can look through. There's some great references in there to go further. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel here at CryptoSense to keep up to date with all the news on cryptography uh, and, and applied ways to use it for, for exciting things. And I'll see you again soon here on the channel. Thank you.